Hyundai Motor India revealed the connectivity features of its upcoming subcompact SUV, the Venue. Its biggest USP is the fact that it will be India's first connected car with 33 connectivity features out of which 10 are India specific. Hyundai's connectivity technology is called the Blue Link and some of the features that Blue Link will offer in India are geofencing, speed alerts, SOS, panic notifications, destination sharing and roadside assistance among others. Hyundai said that it has tested its Blue Link technology rigorously in India, keeping Indian conditions in mind. So with the Blue Link, we are going to unleash a new paradigm shift as far as the consumer mindset of buying the products is concerned. Uh, in India, uh, huge 1.3 billion people, more than 50% of the people less than 25 years of age, also talks about the aspirations and the choice which the consumer wants to make. So as a young audience, today they want power in their mobile phone, they want power in their hand and that's what Blue Link will give them, power to control their car on the touch of a button through the Hyundai Blue Link application. The company will launch the car on May 21st, 2019 and it is the company's first subcompact SUV in India and will rival the likes of the Maruti Suzuki Vitara Brezza, Tata Nexon, Ford EcoSport and even the Mahindra XUV300. Two-wheeler sales in the domestic market hit a roadblock in the financial year 2019 as sales saw a 17.31% decline in volumes. The domestic two-wheeler sales stood at 14,40,663 units in FY 2018-19 as against 17,42,307 units sold in 17-18. Contributing factors to the decline were weaker customer sentiment, increase in prices and overall increase in insurance for vehicles contributed to slow buying period especially in the second half of the financial year. Passenger vehicle sales for the same financial year saw sales stagnate as the domestic volumes grew by just 2.7%. Passenger vehicle sales stood at 33,77,436 units in FY 2019 as opposed to 32,88,581 units sold in 2017-18. Overall, passenger vehicle sales stood at 40,26,047 units, growing by a bare minimum of 0.14%. Sales of passenger vehicles slowed down thanks to weaker customer sentiment led by the liquidity crunch, high vehicle prices due to change in insurance norms and uncertainty over upcoming elections. Deliveries for the new Honda CB300R have begun in India. The first lot of customers from cities in North India such as Chandigarh, Jaipur, Delhi and Gurugram receive the keys to their new ride. Honda Motorcycle and Scooter India says that the deliveries in other parts of the country will begin soon enough. Along with the commencement of deliveries, HMSI also announced the introduction of 16 standalone accessories for the CB300R along with four custom kits which are premium, protection, standard and sports. The response has been good for the CB300R as the company had to revise its production plan to meet the additional demand. We've had 15 years of sheer leadership bringing you the very best of the world of wheels. If you like the best, subscribe to our channel.